WWE are said to hate a major AEW star. The reason behind a Raw team's recent split has been revealed, and a WWE Hall of Famer has called for a long overdue induction. More on that in a little bit. Yes, hello, it is Jack and Ross with some more delicious wrestling news. Ross, we're straight in at the deep end. WWE hate an AEW star, according to an article on Forbes. Can you reveal who that is? I can, Jack, with my face as red as a baboon's arsehole. Thank you, <laughs> flat lighting. We can reveal exclusively it's CM Punk. And who would have thunk it, eh, Jack? Who would have thunk it? I know, I know. This came courtesy of an article on Forbes about WWE 2K22. Uh, apparently, when discussing released wrestlers into the game, uh, it was said the only way a star wouldn't be included is if the talent has an extremely broken relationship with the promotion. We're not talking something simple like cryptic social media messages following a release. It would have to be the sort of discord that is had between CM Punk and the WWE, whom I'm told by someone with strong connections to the situation will almost never be in a WWE game. Uh, one source said that the powers that be hate him. That's all from the Forbes article on 2K22. I mean, it's not the most surprising news, I suppose, Ross. Uh, no, when a, a guy sort of, you know, disparages your company and says horrible things about your company, whether they be true or not, like over so many years, it has been now, and then goes to, I know they don't see him as a rival, but they are the biggest rival in, in the world of professional wrestling today. I guess, naturally, you won't mm -hmm. like him. I can see why both sides wouldn't like each other. So fair enough, good on them. But this, this news, Jack, <laughs> it all stems from um, another bit from the Forbes article, which says, X WWE stars who got released during the course of this year will be in WWE 2K22, which obviously, for gamers around the world, was a massive worry, seeing all these wrestlers released uh, over the course of the yeah, and the 2K developers just just dying each and every time they saw release. Yeah. Oh my god, our game's roster is going to have no people. But the Forbes article did say uh, 2K fans should expect to see wrestlers like Adam Cole, Bray Wyatt, Johnny Gargano, Keith Lee, Jeff Hardy, Ruby Riot, Kyle O'Reilly, and some other top names who were released to be included in the roster. There's also a chance that things could change. Oh no. But for now, I'd expect the roster to have at least 150 guys and gals. Do you think that's surprising? Yeah, because they're not there anymore. Mm. Yeah, I would have thought so as well. I understand that. Well, we always do. We always do say whenever there's a big batch of releases, we say. I mean, it's not the, the immediate thought that springs to mind, but we always say like, "Wow, 2K must be, as you say, banging their heads against the wall." But I'm surprised as well. I think it just goes to show the arbitrary nature of these releases, where they're just being left in the games anyway because it was so out of the blue in a number of cases. I guess in most cases, and I think maybe Keith Lee aside, they probably own the trademark and everybody's name. Adam Cole as well, obviously, and Kyler. Well, no, there's a lot. I've just taught myself out mm. on that one there. I've mm. just talked absolute nonsense there. But I would have thought trademarks would have played a, played a role there, but obviously not. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, in terms of that, we were just talking there about wrestlers leaving WWE, but in terms of a wrestler possibly heading to WWE in the next coming few years, people have been talking about MJF, perhaps because he's very sports entertaining, although he is very, very good as a wrestler as well as a pure wrestler. Um, but a lot of people see him as like the sort of ideal fit for WWE. Whether or not that means he'd actually go is another uh, another matter. But Tony Khan was speaking to Shaq Wrestling uh, about WWE's MJF interest. What did he say about that there, Ross? I think it's great. I encourage that. I think they should keep talking about him because he's a wrestler that's that's a big part of AEW and he's signed here for a few more years. So I think please keep giving us that buzz because he's getting great ratings for his segments. And I think fair enough, Tony Khan. Fair enough, MJF. I just think when we see MJF on social media going about the biggest bidding war of 2024, because apparently his contract is up mm -hmm. in the winter of 2024. I saw Dave Meltzer saying the other day. Um, I just think that's him. Just, you know prodding the proverbial bear, getting a few more dollars out of Tony Khan. I don't think you'll ever go to WWE. He just no. wouldn't work there, would he, with the, the nature of the scripted promos and whatnot. Someone like him, you can tell it's all coming from him. Um, and I, I don't think he would work in that environment, would you? Absolutely. No, I fully agree. But I think we'll see probably a storyline about it in 2024. I think they'd be... It's a big temptation to, to do that story, and I don't think they'll resist it. I think I think they will. When he signs um, his NXT 3.0 contract on the <laughs> AEW world title. Yes. Um, Tony Khan also talked about other things. He talked about would he have wanted to sign Kevin Owens if Owens hadn't re-signed with WWE, and he said, yeah, I would have been interested in that. He's a great wrestler. I think he ended up signing for what I believe is probably a lot of money. I think that's great and good for him. We have a lot of people spotlighted here, and he's great. Any company he goes to, he'll be a great wrestler for them. I think that's fair. I mean, yeah, there's no point in saying, no, I didn't even want Kevin Owens, because you obviously, everyone would have wanted Kevin Owens. 
I mean, we can all see why Kevin Owens has stayed. Um, it's obvious, you know, the money and that. I think all of us here watching would do the same thing Kevin Owens did. So it is nice to see that Tony Khan is being understanding in this situation and not being a petty little, petty little so-and-so, as we know he can be from time to time on social mm. media. <laughs> uh, he also had nice things to say about Danhausen, which I can't help but read. And I'm sure it wasn't intended that way, but it's just, I, I read it in a patronizing tone. I'm sure he wasn't actually being patronizing, but about Danhausen, Khan said he was on the Jericho cruise interacting with a lot of the AEW wrestlers, and that was great. He's just <laughs> pals with a lot of my toys. Um, he's had an injury recently, said Tony Khan, so it's something to keep an eye on for sure. But he's got a big following and he does sell some merch and he's a very nice guy, so he's got a lot of things going for him. Um, yeah, Tony Khan covering all the bases there and I think speaking probably very frankly about a lot of those topics. Um, moving, uh, We're crossing back over now, Ross, to WWE News, courtesy of WrestleVotes on Twitter. What are they saying? Um, they, they're on about AJ Styles and Omos, who of course split on this week's Raw. And WrestleVotes said if it felt like they sped up the Omos and AJ Styles split, it's because they did. Sources say both superstars have significant plans in early 2022 and wanted any type of bluff program prior to the major Rumble and Mania events. Therefore, Omos wins the Rumble. Styles <laughs> does some other things. Omos takes the title at WrestleMania. It's as simple as that. I think so. So you, you don't <laughs> think they're going to just wrap up those storylines before the Rumble and Mania they're going to carry them on and indeed it's going to be centred around their Titanic clash I think something happens because I think there's where Satie on next week's Raw AJ and Omos are going to have their big blow off match aren't they it's the, the headline of Raw next week so something will happen there probably horribly to AJ Styles you would assume to build up yeah. the, his his former personal colossus Omos um, but for where Omos goes from there I've got no idea because while he is massive Right, and he is, he looks okay at the wrestling. Is mm. he ready? Is he really ready for like a proper like featured spot somewhere on the card? I don't know if he is. I don't know, but I'm interested to see what happens. You were saying you you think he'll face Orton. Now that they've hot shotted potentially the split from AJ, do you still think that'll go ahead? I don't think so. I just I just got too wrapped up in uh, Randy Orton saying to Riddle, "Oh, don't get involved with Omos. Oh, watch nah. out for Omos. Oh, don't get involved with him. He's too he's too big and that." And then they, they sort of teased the the little like sort of in ring interaction between the pair for ages, didn't they? And didn't mm. really do it. Um, but I've I've got no idea now that these plans have been. What was this all said? The uh, hot shotters. What was it? Mm. Probably, whatever. Sped up. That's the one. Hot um, shot. Sped up. It's been yeah. They sped up the split. Yeah. And final more. Look at that. Um, a WWE Definitely. Hall of Famer. Oh, absolutely. Uh, a WWE Hall of Famer has called for a long overdue induction. Uh, it's Rikishi on Twitter saying that he feels it's a long overdue induction for Umaga. He's championing him for the class of 2022. Uh, he's, he followed that up by saying, What say you, WWE Universe? Should my brother go in this year? Hashtag Umaga, class of 2022. Um, Umaga's one of those ones that I think, uh, even, even before he sadly passed away, I think people often forgot like how good he could be. Oh, yeah. Go back and watch the matches he had with John Cena around that period. I remember the one, was it Taboo Tuesday or whatever, Cyber Sunday? One of those mm. Cyber ones. Um, absolutely fantastic. You, you might think his run was relatively short to say he could go in the Hall of Fame, but you've got to remember his, his, his work with Three Minute Warning as well. I think when you look at certain names who've gone in the Hall of Fame, Umanga, or as William Regan would call him, Umanga, uh, yes. should definitely be in there. Get him in there. I think so as well. Um, I think so as well. But um, there's, a, there's a lot of names out there these days who could potentially go in. I'm sure that there'll be so much Hall of Fame rumour news in the next few months uh, as we head towards WrestleMania. But we'll have to keep you updated on that. And indeed, more news today as well. There'll be another news video going out later on, I believe. So do check that out as well. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Jack. This has been Ross. And we'll see you very soon.